Welcome to another Shot Rock training video. My name is Mark Taylor, and I am the lead engineer for Shot Rock and installer. We're continuing our series on the Toshiba telephone system, and uh, we're going to go over a couple more features here the volume button, hold button, and then how to make a transfer, a call. On the volume, whenever we, volume button's right here, whenever we put a new phone system in, the volume is always high as far as ringing. Uh, the telephones. That's the first thing I ever notice, and usually the customer notices as well. So when you get your telephone, this volume key here, the reason why I mention it on the training videos is people will pump it, and when you pump it, it does nothing. You have to hold the button down to adjust the volume. So when you get your phone brand new, you probably want to turn the volume down to where you like it. That way it's not too loud and scare you when you first get the first phone call. So, again, this adjusts the volume. If the phone is ringing, you can turn the volume up or down. If it's paging, you can turn the volume up and down. And the nice thing is, if you're on a telephone call, and for some reason you can't hear somebody very well, you can turn the volume up in your ear. Now, it doesn't increase your volume to them, but you can, uh, it increases the volume to your ear so you can hear them better. The hold button. Well, it's the only funky colored button on the phone right, right here. I don't know what, quite what color it is. I, I think it's salmon. But that's the hold button. So when you receive a phone call to your extension, and you're on a call, here's the call key. I'm on a call. I'm speaking with uh, extension 200, which happens to be Alan. If I want to place Alan on the hold, I simply press the hold key. And now you can see that his button, or my call key here, is actually blinking and Alan's on call on hold I can grab another line and make another phone call out either internally or outside the building if I want to and when I'm done let me go back in on the blinking button and uh, I'm back on the call so again to review the hold button simply press the call and hold you can put the handset down if you want usually about uh, the timers for the recall or set to about one minute. So for any reason uh, I don't get to this call, it'll ring back in about one minute. And that time can be adjusted per phone, but really one minute's probably about the, the best time. Anything, to, anything shorter than that and uh, you'll be rushed. So again, I can go back in on my call and I'm back on the phone. Now call transferring. Call transferring is a little bit more in depth, but it's pretty easy really. So, I can make or place a telephone call. I'm going to call Alan on his phone. I'm going to dial extension 200. We can pretend like this is an outside call. Either way, it doesn't matter. I'm talking to Alan. You can see here, I'm talking to Alan, extension 200. And I'm on my call key. And Alan wants to, uh, Alan and I are talking, and for whatever reason, I need to sp transfer him to, to Jason. This button right here is the conference transfer key, CNF slash TRN. I simply press that key, dial the extension I want to transfer it to, and if you notice, as soon as I press the conference transfer key, my line went on hold. I dialed uh, extension 203 Jason and I can announce my telephone call. I can wait for Jason to pick up the phone and I can uh, basically tell him, hey, I've got Alan on the line, he wants to talk to you. And when I hang up the telephone, the call is gone from my extension and that call is now ringing Jason's telephone who's now showing busy. So let me set that scenario up again. I get an outside call or even, I may make a call either way. My call is coming into my extension. I'm talking to extension 200 on my telephone. Could be an outside line. You might even have caller ID. That's some of the questions that customers will ask. They'll say, Mark, will I, when I get caller ID, will it uh, transfer to the caller? It will. Once I hang up my telephone, the uh, person I'm transferring the call to will see the caller ID of the person calling. So again, I'm on the call key, talking to extension 200. Simply press the conference transfer key. Call immediately goes on, on hold. Dial an extension. If I want, I can announce the call or just simply hang up 
and the call is being transferred. It's ringing Jason's telephone. There you go. I'm going to set up one more scenario for you. There's a neat little feature, especially if someone calls you internally or externally, either way. I receive a telephone call. Alan's calling me. I'm going to pick up my handset. I'm now talking to Alan. And Alan says, hey, Mark, you want to go to lunch? I say, well, let's see if Jason wants to go. So I simply press my conference key, dial his extension number, 203. Jason picks up the handset. I said, Jason, Alan wants to go to lunch. And Jason says, well, where's Alan want to go? Well, Alan's on hold right now. But if you know on my t notice on my telephone, I have a join key. Since I'm the person that pressed the conference key, the join key pops up on my screen. And my soft keys, remember these soft keys? There's four of them. So if I hit join, now I have myself, Alan at 200, and Jason at 203. And the three of us are conferenced. If I hang up my telephone, those two will continue to talk. And yeah, there's a split key here. If you want to split between parties, maybe they're having an argument, and I want to only talk with one at one time, but most people don't ever use that. But I can just simply uh, continue. There's a, a three-way conference, and if I hang up, they're still talking. There's also one more feature that's kind of handy. If your set, system is set up correctly, uh, or not correctly, but if you happen to have a fancy PRI or SIP trunking, it's really nice. You can transfer calls to people's cell phones or outside the building somewhere. So if you receive a telephone call, I've got a call, and maybe Alan or Jason just left for uh, to go home, or he's running an errand, or he's out on a call, sales call, and for some reason I need to get that call, this call to him, I simply do the same thing. I press the conference transfer key. The call goes on hold, and now I can just dial 9 in the cell phone number of Jason, and once Jason picks up the phone call, I can hang up the call, and Jason will be connected. I can't demonstrate that here because I don't have any outside lines on my demo kit. But again, let's just do that one more time. I receive a phone call. I'm talking on, happens to be Alan. It might show the outside number if they had call in from outside. Press the conference key, dial 9, dial the cell phone number. I'm on dial 203 because I don't have any lines. As soon as they Jason picks up. I can tell Jason, Jason, I've got Alan on the line, and uh, when I hang up, you'll be talking to him. And that completes the transfer call. So that's a neat feature. A lot of people use that, especially um, if, you know, a lot nowadays we're all working outside the office. So it's really a, a neat little feature. Well, that concludes this series of uh, training videos, and I'll be picking up some more in just a little bit. Thank you for joining us.